Good, good morning, guys. Um, good thing GoPros don't have video. <laughs> it's 7:24. Or good thing GoPros don't have smell. Of course, they have video. Um, oh, it's frozen. I can't even clear it. Crap. But uh, yeah, we woke up a little bit late today, and. Uh, don't have time to brush our teeth. We're gonna brush them here in a little bit after we get to the shipper, but we just gotta head over there. It's just right across the street, so it's a good thing we stopped here last night instead of uh, stopping elsewhere. But uh, hopefully the interstates are pretty much dry because we also have to go 60 miles north. And uh, pretty sure this has potential to be like ice very shortly, so. Got to be easy on the throttle here, um, just to make sure we don't slide. We're doing pretty good right now, so hopefully, fingers crossed, where we're going next is pretty uh, simple. But uh, see you guys here in a minute. So we must be at a restaurant right now or something. Nah, I'm kidding. We're at uh, DC, and they have these like restaurant pagers. So, looks like I'm going to be going to dock 324. Um, yeah. So, that's kind of cool, I guess. I've never had that happen before. Um, I'm waiting to get parked so I can brush my teeth. Because I don't know about you guys, but I'm one of those that, like, literally I cannot really have a day that goes well if I don't brush them. So, I'm just really looking forward to that. And it's gonna be a little bit, so. Because these guys all have to back in and grab. And I'll have to back in too, so you know, it's like. Don't hate the play, I hate the game, right? But it doesn't like really matter, so like me, I'm probably gonna go just all the way down to the end right there and like take one of those. Because, like, what good does it do for you to park this close, right? Like, it doesn't. It's not like you get a million dollars for parking all the way up in the front, you know? You don't gotta walk into the truck stop. Just makes it less of a drive, but when you do it like this, you know, it's a lot worse process unless like, you know, instead of someone going all the way to the end. And uh, this motherfucker cuts me. What a jackass, dude. I'm gonna lie, it's a little bit slick. It's not terrible, but it is a little bit slick. I guess like nobody's really behind me, so. So we'll take this one. Right here. nailed this one. This might have nailed this one. Yeah, look at your boy. 
boy Jay. Maybe we can focus when we don't brush our teeth. <laughs> it's like the first time in a while I've had just uh, no pull-ups, no corrections. Just know I like that. So, all right, time to brush our teeth. Well, our restaurant buzzer went off. So, uh, we're going to our dock here. Um, I saw a CFI driver here. If I see him again, I'll t I, I, I kind of speak to him. But he definitely did not do a little walk around this morning because one of his trailer tires was completely flat, dude. Like, straight up, so flat, I don't even know. Oh, crap. I guess I got to come through this one here. I didn't even notice. We're going to dock 324. So we'll see if we see that CFI or not. Dog 324 is where we're headed. I don't, I mean, that thing isn't very specific. Like, it says open your trailer doors, but it doesn't tell me if I break the seal. So, I guess we're just gonna break the seal and uh, back it into the door. A lot of people here. Oh no. set this up for a straight back we're gonna go ahead and just do that now but we got to get out and open those doors right, let me go open those doors they got those doors open back there Going for the dock now. Come on. No, oh, it's still going off. It's kind of annoying. When they have lines like this, dude, it's so nice. get this thing to stop from going off. I am here. Whatever, shut up. Stop doing that, it's annoying. So I thought we were gonna be getting detention pay, but it appears that uh, our appointment was at 7.30. It's 9.15 now. So, uh, I just don't, <laughs> we can't get it. So, that's the thing that sucks is they get the first two hours for free. So, a lot of companies will like, just make it last to the two hours and then they get you out. Bro, I swear, I close my trailer doors and it looks like I'm gonna have to open them when I, yeah. It doesn't say on the thing, leave the doors open, but I'm empty, so. 
crap. That sucks. Oh well. Just open it so I can peek, I guess. Well, I hope my GoPro lens isn't too dirty. Uh, it fell. Like I had to, for some reason, someone on this exit ramp just like stopped and like I had to go to the left and brake super hard. And then uh, someone behind me, a truck behind me had to go right and then the truck behind that had to go left. Like it was, it was bad. And I had adequate following distance too. So I was like, oh my God. Like I just, I don't know why they stopped. Like it made no sense. But uh, our week's been saved. Um, we were down to like, uh, or we were at like 800 miles for the week or whatever. And this was only going to West Memphis, which is like 560, which would have put me up to 1300. But instead of having me relay it, they're having me take it the whole way. And the whole way is Laredo, Texas. Please tell me this turns before this hill, bro. I do not want to like have to turn on this hill. Is it right here? I think it's this one right here. Um, but so we're about to go, uh, our appointment's at 2.30, it's 2 o'clock, um, but we're going to go check in and uh, hopefully get loaded, all that fun stuff. I think this is the right place. I hope it is. Um, yeah, so we're going to go get checked in, all that fun stuff, and uh, we'll get back to you when we're backing into the dock. This place is one of those places that's on my shit list. <laughs> I get here, they have like a button, I push it, I didn't hear it ring, so I was like, okay. So I waited like two minutes, I pushed it again, and the guy in the guard shack's like, what's your guys' deal with being in a hurry, pushing this button twice? Like, he's like all pissed, and I'm like, dude, like, chill out. Like, I did not mean to push it. Like, I didn't hear anything, I didn't, like, you know, I, I didn't know what was going on. Like, so, like, I was just, I was being polite, because I was like, I'm not doing this today, like, but, dude, that was so, like, irritating. Like, what in the world? Anyways, we're supposed to park over here um, in this area and then go walk in. But he, like, explained, like, how to get here as if I was stupid. So I was just like, bruh, come on. All right, we're going to park on the end, even though it's not going to be fun to back in here with all these trucks. But... Hey, what else can you do? Oh, shoot. Cut it too sharp. Yeah, but when I get a door assigned, it's not gonna be fun, dude. They have all these trucks sitting here. I'm literally probably gonna have to like do some magic, but I need to go get checked in and uh, do all that fun stuff. All right, guys, so what happened is we were parked in between those. And we basically had to do an offset, but I knew like, I haven't done an offset for a long time. So I wanted to just, cause this guy's sticking out further. So it made it harder. So I literally had to like, really work it and you know to like i know that's a lot of wiggle room over there for some of you veteran drivers but i'm coming up on a year here and to me i just wanted to really be focused um so i didn't record it but we made it into the dock um yeah and when we like we had the trailer like over too far and uh so we had to like kind of fix it like pivoting off the back of that trailer like making sure we weren't going to clip it with our tractor but we cleared it and we're in the dock, so hopefully it doesn't take too long to get loaded. Um, and then we're gonna drive on and try to find parking for the night uh, as soon as we can. Um, not as soon, but I'm gonna try to drive as much as I can and then park. Um, and then tomorrow, I'm gonna try to stop at Truck Dynasty as long as the time's properly. Uh, you know, like we're not there too late, we're not there too early, we're not there during lunch. Um, and if that happens, then uh, we'll be seeing Miss Ruby. And Miss Ruby's definitely getting a sticker. I don't think as anyone else is really going to care. But Miss Ruby's such a sweetheart, and I got my stickers on the truck. I'm getting kind of low, I think. I think I got like five, six more of them. But I got to give one to Miss Ruby, man. I got to give her one. So we have eight hours of clock left. Um, basically, between waiting at that other place and waiting here, that's all we have left. Eight hours. So. 
like we don't need to take a 30 minute break but we do got to scale the load and we need to inflate our trailer tires because they're a little low so like literally we may not have time to go very far today and i don't know how far st louis is but once i get to this loves here in 27 miles which says it's almost it's almost going to take an hour um oh i didn't know they had a scale there crap oh wow i got it's probably not even 100 percent accurate so we got to scale it at loves oh no how the heck do i get out of here I feel like I'm gonna scrape that. Maybe not. I guess I can fit through here. But anyways, yeah, we're gonna get down to the loves. I I think I literally just seen the prettiest female truck driver ever, bro. Holy smokes. I I had to take like three looks because like like to like see if she was actually as pretty as I thought she was and like bro I've never seen any truck driver like that in my entire life like holy crap <laughs> like bro like to be honest like prettier than like casino slot attendants like I, I was like how the hell are you driving a truck right now like not like that she can't just like what led her to be a truck driver you know i was just like wow so that was uh pretty cool i didn't say anything to her because i'm sure she has like truck drivers like trying to talk to her non-stop and i feel like for her it's very annoying and so yeah but we're, we got away um and then airlines are frozen so i guess we're just gonna have to try to get air when we get to joplin um tomorrow really don't have too much of a choice because it's gonna be like this everywhere but I'm just gonna make a big u-turn here <laughs> gotta look for spot right there teeter-tot on him You're not supposed to go past spot. I'm sure people do, but. <laughs> Wonder how accurate these are with snow on them. Also that guy parked right in front of the scales, a jack wagon. But we're gonna weigh the load and then uh, we're gonna drive like six hours as a rest area. Just like that. We are just down the road from the Loves. We're gonna try to find some parking here. Um, it's hard to tell if there's parking. Uh, I've been here a couple times and there's parking, but it is eight o'clock, um, which means tomorrow we're gonna be starting around six in the morning. Uh, I'm going by Truck Dynasty, where I went to truck driving school, and I'd like to stop by and give Miss Ruby a sticker. I think I said that already. Um, so yeah, we're gonna try to find a parking spot here and in the morning we're gonna have to get some fuel I, and I'm gonna do the math. I'm gonna figure we're averaging six miles a gallon to be safe The light just turned yellow So I'm gonna figure that uh, Six miles per gallon So I'm gonna figure the six miles per gallon, uh, and then I think from here to Joplin's like 460 miles. And then when we get to Joplin, we're gonna fill up. So whatever six divided by 460 is, that's how many gallons I'm gonna be, oh God, I think it's full. I think it's full, I don't think we're stopping here. Dang, dude, dang. Maybe there's like a spot that no one else wanted to try. I'm gonna see. Maybe I could park on the end over there. Unless it says like no parking or something. How is this place full already, bro? It's like a brand new love. So there's like a ton of spots here.
coming. Are you saying something, driver? I can't hear you, you're super quiet. I'm not hearing anything, man. I think yours is just turned down. I think you gotta turn it up. Yeah, I don't think we're gonna be able to find parking here. So, that's great. How is it full, bro? How is this place full? Well, I guess we'll take a look at this spot on the end here. Um, and also take a look at these trucks down here that are parked. Maybe I can take one near them. Oh, is there one right here? No, there's a truck in that. Truck there. I thought that was a CFI, but it's not. Handicapped. I'm not handicapped. Are these all handicapped? Oh, I think this guy's gonna take one. No parking. Now, well, I don't want to be that guy to take a handicapped spot, so uh, we're pretty much gonna have to uh, leave this place. Well, we gotta get fuel, but dang, I was really hoping to end the video. Uh, we're getting ready to pull into this truck stop. <laughs> um, Trucker Pass said it was a pilot, but it is apparent that it's not a pilot. It is a, what even is this place? I hope, I'm gonna have to read the reviews. Hopefully not all parking's reserved. Thornton's, it is a Thornton's truck stop. I've never been to one of these, wow. I shouldn't have had Bojangles, bro. They got a steak and shake in this truck stop. I haven't had steak and shake since I was in trucking school. And you guys know that was a long time ago. It's parking across the street at the Shell, too. We're just going to give this one a good look. I get It's a Thornton's, but apparently there's Pilot Fuel, so who knows. Pi, I don't know. Pilot's weird, dude. They have, like, a whole bunch of different, like, truck stops. Like, I don't know. Anyways, certified scales to the right. What's that mean? There may not be parking here either. I don't know. That's a flatbed though. I never judge uh, like if I believe there's parking when there's a flatbed truck parked like that because I do understand for flatbedders it's a lot harder to park. So I don't ever judge. Oh, we should have went through the fuel island. Because this is going to be fun. Spot down there. Just always watch your trailer when you're going through places like this. You just want to make sure, you know, never get complacent. Always check your trailer. Oh, this parking is facing the other way, bro. No, that's a side side. It's a side side 45. I was getting confused for a second. There may not be parking here though. It says there is, but I'm not seeing any. Unless this is one here. But if it is one, probably gonna be better to pull through that because that guy that GC whatever SC Express he's sticking out a mile bro so let me try to find a spot in here to get turned around Does that even exist okay this is what we're gonna do well I don't know if I can do a pull through there I forget that my tandems are slid back a little bit I'm thinking this place is full 
Oh my goodness, I've never had this trouble of finding parking, dude. Never had trouble like this. Hopefully no one. Okay, we're gonna see if we can pull through the fuel island. Hopefully no one takes that spot, bro. No, we gotta go. We gotta go back out on the road and come back in. It's the only shot we have at it. And it's gonna be hard, because that guy's sticking out a mile. I'm guessing that car's going to Thornton's. That one's not, though. I didn't know why anyone would be coming down this way, but I was like, all right, I guess they are. Cancel. Okay, well, we're gonna give up one shot at a pull through. If I even looks like I can set it up. I mean, I guess I, I think that guy really messed it up. Is that guy trying to get in there? I don't think those headlights were on earlier, were they? But basically, we're gonna need to swing out as far as we can this way. Uh, it's not even possible, dude. That guy's, we're gonna see if we can get it from this side. But I don't think we're going to be able to. Gosh darn it. Oh. Actually. It's going to suck because. I'm backing against trailers. more parking over here before I even try this let me stop what parking is this over here it looks like there's more parking over here so do we do that instead I think we're gonna do that instead I don't know though. I think I can get this no nah, we're gonna do it I just don't it's just really bad to get in there. Something is hissing air like crazy over there. Let's see if we can find something over here. Oh, this looks pretty packed over here too. I'm not even gonna lie. I would just park there, but I never like being the guy on the end. Never. Dropped trailer. Can we get in next to this CFI? Yep, we can. All right, cool. That answers it for us. Make a U-turn here. CFI so far back though.
cut it too hard there. Or we may have just backed it in perfectly again. Just a little bit too hard. Oh, this makes it hard now. All right, so left. Straight. Can't give it any left though. We can try to do it this way. There we go. Is that why? Let's see if I like super cockeyed in that hole. It might be what it is. He's definitely not straight in there, but we will be. He's gonna have to sit a little bit closer to this guy here. That's where we're gonna sit. We, we don't have our tandems all the way forward, otherwise we'd just match the CFI next to us. But we found parking, so I mean, what else can you do? <laughs> I'll see you guys tomorrow. Make sure you hit that like button, subscribe as always. Peace. Come on, everything is A-OK -okay when you're riding with Jay. Keep those wheels turning and we do this every day Backing up a trailer, look at all the roads I've driven Come and ride with me, yeah, let me show you how I'm living Come on